All right, coaches, I decided to film this video so that way hopefully it helps you with the uh, Dartronics board. Again, this is the series that we're using, the 5000 series. And here's what you got. Uh, you have a lot of these cards. Uh, we have this one that's obviously for football. You have one for soccer. Uh, we have one for track. Uh, you can see that. And then, of course, we have a segment timer. If you look at the back of these, you do have a segment timer. So again, just make sure that you understand you can flip those. I created a binder over here that's gonna be up at the press box that you can pretty much find all the information and the instructions that I just listed. So here's how it works on the back of these Dartronics. There is a button, you're gonna power that button on. When you power that button on, you're typically gonna get this message right here which resumes game code. If you notice the game code that's listed on there is gonna be the game code for football see if I can back out a little bit but you can see right there that that's the football one right there and again you're looking right up here is what we're looking at that's the game code okay um, if you're doing the game code uh, you can go ahead and hit yes and that's pretty much your game once you do that if you look at the scoreboard it should be nice and bright I'm not gonna get the best view here but you can see it's a bright view is what you're getting okay if it's dim, that means you didn't do it correctly. So just make sure that you go back and you're entering the codes. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use a segment clock. So here's a segment clock that I'm putting in. Again, it's backwards, football. It's backwards if you did it. So how do you get the segment clock? So when you're doing the segment clock, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're coming over here, the menu, you're gonna hit menu, and you're gonna see that screen pop up. You're gonna use the arrow button going up and you're gonna to get to display menu. And for the segment clock, you're gonna click, or you're gonna push seven, six, seven, six, one, one, and you're gonna hit enter. And you can see right there, it says run segment clock. In this case, you would hit yes. And you got the segment clock. Once you hit yes again, your segment clock's up and running. At that point, all you have to do is hit start. So how do you get it from a segment clock back to a game? Well, again, you're going to come over here. You're going to flip this script. If it's soccer, you're going to basically input the soccer one. We know that the code 6601, so you're going to go back to menu, hit menu. You're going to come up. I'm sorry, right there is uh, menu. It says menu main, uh, new code. You're going to hit yes. And it says 6601. It's already programmed, so you hit yes, and you're good to go. When you're running the scoreboard, again, you're just using these features right here. There's a plus one, plus two, score three, uh, score six. You got the first downs, the possessions, everything's on here. If it doesn't match up, like if you're doing soccer, it's because you need to add the soccer one that's on here. And again, on the back side, there's always a segment timer for practices. So hopefully that helps you guys. Again, everything is stored and the instructions are listed here with a QR code to this video. And again, everything's listed in here and you have all the information.